Hello guys, so I just got out of the thrift store, another thrift haul video for Barbies and stuff. So I'm gonna get started on that. I might actually be fixing to do a, cause the Mommy and Gracie show, they do a uh, what the thrift sort of thing. That's where you go in the thrift stores and you find weird items. I saw so many weird things in the thrift store. I should have filmed while I was in there. Actually, I may go back in there and film, so I don't know. If you see a video uploaded, then that's what that is. So you might be getting a What the Thrift video coming because I saw a lot of stuff in there that was weird. But anyhow, enough of my babbling. First two doll, well, first few dolls I found was all of these really dark skinned girls. We can get a good look at them. These two are chick dolls. Eh, if I can get her hair out of the way. I used to see them all the time at Big Lots, so. Yeah, this one's got curly hair. And then this one. I can't tell you how many dolls that I've seen at the thrift store that have still had the zip tie in the hair. Like this one, you can obviously, all these dolls, you can tell have never really been played with at all. So that just gives you a perfect example of kids today. They don't play with dolls anymore. And then this is another one that I found that is actually a crafts doll. You're actually supposed to crochet a dress for this one. She's got her original panties on. That's all she came wearing. These dolls came in little baggies, and this one is by... I've got another one like... I've got two others like her. I actually have the same one, and then I have a blonde version. This one's by Fibercraft. That is not the year that this doll is from, 1991. That's when this mold for the body was made, so... Because I got one of these brand new back in 2009, so yeah. Fibercraft... Materials Corporation made in China. And then she has this written on the back of her head. There we go. FCM copyright, something like that. We already have this one. This doll is really nice quality. I like the face mold. I like her makeup. And I, the hair quality is nice. Like usually you get these cheaper, this one's just like a pull apart sort of Barbie, like those two. And usually when you brush their hair excessively, it will frizz at the ends. But I've had my other one for a long time and I've excessively brushed her hair. She's even lost several plugs of hair. And she has never frizzed at the bottom and the hair is always super bouncy and shiny. So I don't know what material this hair is made of, but it is really nice quality. And this is the other one that I found. This is the Beauty and the Beast Prince doll, the original outfit. And this one also came with the Beast mask and the other outfit. So yeah, I'm not sure if this one came with a Bell doll, but yeah, I actually have a Bell. I actually have several of them, but I only have one original Mattel Bell doll. Then I have this one. I'm probably going to use her for her body because I have lot, like lots of other Barbies that need bodies. So I usually use these newer ones for their bodies. Sometimes the hair as well for rerouting. So I don't know what I'm going to do with her yet. But this one was like a bicycling Barbie doll. This one, I already have this Chelsea doll, but when I found her found the other one her dress was super glued to her body like I tried taking her at first I didn't notice it but then I tried taking her dress off and I couldn't get it off and then I literally ripped it off which destroyed it basically and she had super glue all over her body so some little some mommy didn't want their little girl taking the dress off so they probably were offended by naked dolls <clears throat> I don't know seem to get, be getting a lot of that lately. I mean, which is why we have stuff like this, molded on clothes. But yeah, this, anyhow, this is another doll. I found my first Mattel 
Well, actually, my first Tiana doll, period. But this is my first Mattel one. And I don't like the way Mattel designed her because her skin tone is too dark from the uh, Disney um, animated character. Like, the character's skin tone is slightly lighter, more like, more like this skin tone, if you will, versus that. And also the lips are like a dark color. And on Tiana, her lips are more red rather than anything else, so. They kind of got her uh, her look wrong, and the face doesn't look much like her either, so. And then we have, uh, I think this is my favorite Barbie out of the entire fine, out of all of them that I got, so. This one was the Princess and the Pop Star Black Friday version. So she has a molded on bodice underneath. So yeah, but I put her in this dress, which came on one of the chick dolls. The dress was just loose in the bag, so. But I already have this dress, but this one has got like way more pink on it. So I, and I love this dress to begin with. So I've got two of them now. So I'm very pleased. I just, her face is so flawless. I just love her makeup. I love her facial screening. And I love her pale skin with this platinum hair. I just love her so much. She is absolutely gorgeous and I will fix her hair up and everything. Yeah, I forgot to mention the Tiana doll has like grease in her hair. So lots of the, this one has grease in her hair, I think. So they will be getting a baby powder treatment. And then the next doll item I found was the styling head Moxie Girl. You know, a lot of the newer kids probably don't know what Moxie Girls are, but they came out in 2009, and they were placed brats there for a while. So I abs I love the Moxie Girls more than the brats. I mean, that's just me, but I personally love the look of the Moxie Girls, and their outfits when they came out were amazing. I loved them. The only thing that was bad about the Moxie Girls when they came out was their hair quality. It was really horrible. Like, you would brush their hair, like, three times, and it would frizz at the ends then you'd have to keep cutting it so but yeah I found that styling head I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with her I might use her for hair I don't know for rerouting other dolls but I don't know what I'm gonna do with her yet I just saw a moxie girl and I had to get her and then I found this one which is an, a 90s Barbie this one is the african-american version of sweetheart Barbie and she has her heart necklace on she's the old school Barbie that has the panties like that and her arms only move up and down. But yeah. And she has the bendy knees. So that's her. She will be getting a boil wash later. And then, yes, I brought my Freddy with me. So someone always goes with me. And then I found this handsome fella. I absolutely adore him. As I was walking out, I saw him in one of the return carts. And I absolutely had to get him because he is so fancy and so handsome. I love him so, so, so much. So all in all, for all these dolls and everything, I paid like $6, so. Yeah, score for me. So anyhow, that is my little video. More videos to come, and thank you for watching.